Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, your boy, Yumicon. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be doing my predictions for match day 9 of the Premier League season. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so the first game, which is actually tonight at 8 o'clock, it kicks off at 8 o'clock tonight. And it is between Arsenal and Aston Villa. I think that Arsenal will win this game, but I think it'll be a very slim win. I think it'll be like 1-0, 2-1. But I do see them winning the game. Now, moving on, we have Chelsea against Norwich, which is, of course, tomorrow's game on Saturday. And I see Chelsea winning this game pretty comfortably. I'm going to guess about 5-0, to be honest with you, because I don't see Norwich scoring or stopping Chelsea scoring goals. So, yes, I think Chelsea will win that pretty easily. And then next, we have Crystal Palace against Newcastle. I think that Crystal Palace are going to win, seeing as Newcastle now have no manager without Steve Bruce. And even with Steve Bruce, I don't see them beating Crystal Palace anyway. So, I see Crystal Palace winning this game. And then in the next game, we have Leeds against Wolves. I see Wolves winning this. Leeds are just, I don't know, like Leeds just aren't playing that great this season. I don't know what's happened or or what's going on, but Leeds just aren't on fire like they were last season. Right? They're just not ticking as well. So I see Wolves winning this game. Moving on, we have Everton against Watford. Of course, Watford have a brand new manager in Claudio Ranieri. And of course, they lost 5-0 to Liverpool on the weekend, which wasn't the best start. But I think this game will probably be a draw, to be honest with you. I think this game will be a draw. Okay, and in the next game, we have Southampton against Burnley. I see a Burnley win here. I think it'll be like 1-0, 2-1, something like that. But I think that Burnley might just edge it over Southampton, but we'll have to see. And then we have the final game for Saturday, which is Brighton against Manchester City. And I think Manchester City will win this. I think it won't be an easy game for us because Brighton seems to do quite well against us. And of course, they're playing pretty decent football so far. But I do think that City should be able to beat Brighton. And then moving on to Sunday, we have West Ham against Tottenham. A Tottenham are bad this season. They're down in the mud. They are down bad. So West Ham win for sure. I don't think that West Ham will lose this game. I think they will win or get a draw. I don't see them losing. I mean, it could happen, but I just don't see it personally. And I think that West Ham should come away with the win. And then in the second to last game of the weekend, we have Brentford against Leicester. Now, this is probably going to be one of the best games of the entire weekend, I think. Simply because Leicester have a good team and Brentford, they show so much character when they play. Like when they played Chelsea at the other weekend, even though they lost the game, they could have easily won that game. They could have won that game if it wasn't for Mendy and Net for Chelsea. They had so many chances. They created a lot and they pressed really good. And Chelsea, they seem to be quite scared for a majority of the game they were they seemed to be quite scared of, of brentford they couldn't get out of their box they couldn't get the ball away they couldn't create anything so yeah so i think that this game be really good and honestly i'm gonna go for a brentford to win i'm gonna go for like a 2-1 brentford 3-2 something like that but i think yeah that brentford will win and finally we have manchester united against liverpool now this is going to be one of them games where it's like what do you want to happen if united lose they will sack ollie which I'm sure that they would want to happen, United fans, because they want like a better manager. But then if United do lose and Liverpool win, which means they will get three points and they will go further ahead of City, Brighton, we don't win. And we don't want Liverpool to win. We really want like Liverpool and Chelsea like to drop points as early on as possible if we can help it. But I think I just don't see United beating Liverpool. I just can't see it. Especially the way that they are playing at the moment, Liverpool there on fire. Salah has been just insane. He has just been incredible these last few weeks. He's been scoring, playing fantastic. He's just been really well. So I think that Liverpool will probably beat United, but I'm not sure about the score line. But to be fair, I hope it's embarrassing. I hope it's like a 4 5 nil. I really hope it is. So now let's do a recap. So we have Arsenal to win. We have Chelsea to win. Uh, Crystal Palace to win, Wolves to win, uh, we have a draw between um, Everton and Watford, uh, we have Southampton to lose and Billing to win of course, and we have Manchester City win, uh, we have a West Ham win, and we have a Brentford win, and we have a Liverpool win. Um, so yeah, and that's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will catch you later, uh, goodbye.